Monroe County is reporting an uptick in positive COVID-19 test results. The health department today reporting 39 new COVID-19 cases. That's compared to 43 new cases yesterday and 54 new cases Friday. There were zero new deaths reported today. The local death toll stands at 300. With more than 130 people then testing positive for COVID-19 in Monroe County alone since Friday, Folks are trying to enjoy the fall weather safely. Jack Watson has that story. So far, it's been great. I'm, I'm, we just got here. Um, this is actually our very first time here. Genevieve Pulsifer made this Sunday afternoon trip from Monroe County to the Pumpkin Palace at the Apple Farm in Victor. Mask off for a few words with us. I feel good. I'm outside. Fresh air. We need this. Um, I'm not worried. In Monroe County, there has been an increase in cases the last three days. 54 reported Friday, 43 yesterday, and another 39 reported today. For reference, the county usually reports cases in the tens and twenties. A trip to the pumpkin patch is not one without masking and social distancing. And if folks want to buy something, they can use one of these self checkout boxes. Just being an outdoor event, too, it does give people that option to keep their distance. An idea put into action by owners Kimberly and Ryan Duval. They say there hasn't been an issue making sure their hundreds of visitors use those COVID precautions. Just with everyone really respecting each other and following the rules has been fantastic. We've had a great turnout. For Genevieve, it comes down to enjoying the fall season while there's still one left to enjoy. This world is pretty crazy right now and people just are just trying to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather before it's too late and we're back in the hibernation. <laughs> that with a few weeks left of this ideal fall weather. In Victor, Jack Watson, News 8. All right, thank you, Jack. There are currently 346 active confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Monroe County. More than 5,300 people have recovered. And the most up-to-date COVID-19 information is always available on our website at rochesterfirst.com.